Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2018 Lexus NX300. Now the most notable features on this NX300 is its power moonroof. You also have your heated and cooled front seats as well as your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2018 Lexus NX300. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this NX300 is its daytime running lights and then if you take a closer look on the front you will find your parking sensors. Over on the side you do have the 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels, integrated signal lamps as well as your power folding mirrors, heated mirrors and taking a look on the inside of the mirror. You're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator now with that indicator it'll actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now, taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your leather interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support, power tilt telescopic steering wheel along with your automatic high beams. You have your blind spot monitoring on and off, power lift gate release, heated steering wheel and all wheel drive lock. Power folding mirrors, mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls along with your seat memory controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your paddle shifters along with your seat function, volume control, mode select, Bluetooth connectivity, and voice recognition. Along with that, you'll find the scroll function and lane departure alert with your cruise control, just located on your right-hand side. Now, it does offer you the push button start, so all you have to do is push put on the brake, hit the push button, and we'll start up view automatically. Taking a look at the multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here so if we actually take a closer look through here you'll be able to go through many of the different options on here with the digital speedometer tire pressure monitoring sway warning you also have your fuel economy range and then you can also go through the compass audio lane departure alert messages and settings menu with the lane departure alert pre-collision system parking sensors on and off as well as a couple of other additional features as well. Taking a look at the center dash as well as the display you'll find a couple of different features on here. So to actually go through the menu controls you'll find them just located over on the left hand side here just located right basically right beside your automatic transmission here. So when we actually take a closer look through here when we go and hit the menu button we'll be able to scroll through and take a look at some of the different options on here which include your uh, destination audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features and then you can go into the setup menu just so you can personalize everything for yourself now it does offer you the exterior temperature gauge as well as your clock heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and your passenger hazard lights taking a look down below you have your audio controls and if you take a closer look here you'll find your eco and sport mode along with your traction control on and off and if we take a closer look just at the top here, you have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the entered garage door opener and your SOS Connect just located at the very top here with the open and closed and tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof. Now taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you. When you back into a stall and you can also change up the backup camera view for yourself just with a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view itself. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now as you can see on the rear bumper you're going to find your parking sensors located right across and then on the back of the tailgate you'll find your backup camera just on the left hand side and the rear hatch release just located underneath. Now closing in on the rear cargo space, if you take a closer look here, you do have the cargo cover in the back which is great because you can cover up your valuables. Just while you're going from place to place, you also have the 60-40 split for the rear seat. So in the event that you need additional space, you can have that folded down for yourself. Now you do have the cargo liner in the back which is great because if you spill any liquids on here, it makes things easier to clean up afterwards just because you can have it removed and cleaned up properly afterwards. Underneath the floor, you're going to find your under the floor storage space. And if you look underneath that, you'll find your spare tires as well as your jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. 
You also have a power adjustable tailgate, so if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.